Hey, y'all. Coming to you from the International Headquarters, Scotty DTV. But I was over at Nichols Paint and Fab for their open house. And man, if you've not seen that place, you got to check it out. Just absolutely gorgeous. And while I was there, I found this 1937 Pontiac Silver Street four-door I think y'all are going to like. Let me get the camera turned around. We'll take a quick look at it. Guys, what a cool car. Thank you very much. Tell me what it is. It's a 1937 Pontiac Silver Streak four-door. Wow, man. How long have you had it? We've had it 11 years so far. Right on. That was original when we bought it and kind of liked that old custom look and uh, lowered it and put a stub on it. And, and it's got a 355 and a 700R4 and a 10-bolt and over rear end and artillery wheels, coker wide whites, right steering brakes, air tilt, cruise. Caddy DeVille eight-way power seats. All right. We drive it a lot and just enjoy it. It's a it's a good good driver for us to local shows and cruises. Right on. Have you yep. been a Pontiac fan for a long time? A number of years. Yeah. Yep. We've got another one. We're starting to build a '37 coupe. We we really enjoy them. They're different. Something right. different. Has it something that you would appeal to you when you were young, or kind of an acquired no, taste when you got more of acquired older? taste? Yeah. I like the '30s fat fender cars, but more of I've you know, gotten older. Right on. Yeah. And to me. I hope nobody takes this wrong, but to me, it's just got that just a little bit of touch of Mexican to it. That it does. It's, it's got, got one jalapeno on it. Kind of that bomb look. Saying. I like right? that bomb I look. I do, and, yeah. And when Justin yes. showed me the pictures of it, oh. I looked at him, I smiled, and I said, man, that's got a great stance and a cool look to it. And I said, I hope people don't know me well enough to know I'm not prejudiced. I'm but just saying. It's he just wondered got, if he was a Mexican too much, fellow. Not yeah. too much. It didn't yeah. go overboard, no. right? But you no. didn't have the air conditioning hanging out the window. No, I've like got one at home, but it's not on. I like the bomb look. I do. And I like cool. that visor on it too. It yeah. fits that car. I think it does and, too. And I mean the yellow wheels and the yeah. wide whites and it just works. It. Yeah, I just like it. Though. And what'd you do to get it that low? <laughs> uh, it's got a fat man front stub on it. And I had to cut some coils out of it too. Had the front end apart six times to get it to ride, you know, just right. Had right. a good look. And I got uh, drop springs and two inch blocks in the back. Right. I think it sits just right. No, it, it, no, it rides good. It just does a nice job. We really love it. Stance and wheels is what it takes. Makes a big difference. And you nailed the stance, and yeah. you didn't need to go high dollar on wheels because no. those wheels fit the build. I wanted them painted. They're artilleries from Wheels Ventique in California. Right. And uh, What size? Those are 15, 15 okay. by 6, 15 by 7s. Right. And it just works. You yeah. nailed that look. You didn't go overboard. No. It's just it's just got to really get in me and drive me from here to California. I appreciate you yeah. very much. That's what we wanted. Yeah, no, that's you know, what you and, nailed. And I'm a, it's, it's like the Pontiac. We had a 37 Packard before this. I like the different stuff. It's not a cookie yeah. cutter. I, and it's a four door. A lot of guys say it's got too many doors. Not for me. No, not when you're not suicide, for, me. for sure. Yeah, right? no. not for us. We Dude, love the four door. I'd rather have a suicide door car than a two door car. Because yeah. that's the cool to it. Yeah. It's like custom from the factory. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I do too. And then you can roll into any show. You can go into a street rod show. You can go to any any show and people are going to be like, that's cool. That car well, on the rat rod cool. shows, that's why I didn't want billet on it. Right. I thought, you know, painted wheels, we can go anywhere. Some right. of them are limited you if you got billet on the cars to get them into some of the old shows. So we've kind of built it to go anywhere. What shape was it in when you got it? Uh, real good. Uh, the paint really is about the same, been on there for many years. Minor rust, um, just, it was a driver, but you know, an old flathead six and 16 inch wheels, brakes bad, steering bad. You know, the interior, we gutted it and, and I welded the firewall shut. And a good friend from Moline helped me weld the stub and do the chassis and, and he does wonderful work, Butch Penny. And um, just finished it up, so rewiring. You did, you did this pretty much in your own garage? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. yeah, got vintage air and heat. How, how long did it take you to do? We did the car about two years. How long have you had it? I so we that. 11 years. 11 years. We've had it 11 years. We've had it 11 years. We have, and, and uh, just uh, like coming over to Justin's, a couple hundred mile deals and some local ones too, but we want to in retirement enjoy it more take some local local trips as well as some long stuff well, i hope we all can afford to retire and i take do trips too for do. gas i might need a sponsor yes. scotty <laughs> I, can, I can tell you what i do but i can't guarantee yeah. results i'm you know? telling you but yeah what's bringing it up what do you think of uh, nichols paint and fab's new shop this is just amazing we follow justin we've seen him grow and grow his business it's one of the finest facilities I've ever seen. And the thing I like about the whole deal is he is extremely humble. Yes. I, I think the thing that really hits me most about him is he truly is humble and kind. No big deal. Um, no big not, deal. And, and, outside of the last few days. <laughs> but and, and, but, and, but, but, and, but and, other than that, he is just normally just even keel. He doesn't change. No, and he, like you whatever. know, and he could have gone anywhere. Right. 
but he stayed home. Right. And I think that says a lot. I'm sure the town's very appreciative and proud of him. Incredible. I've never personally seen a shop like this. Employees are extremely fortunate to work yeah, here. No doubt. I'm, I'm sure they know it or they will soon. Yeah, I, no. This is quite a facility. One of the nicest in the industry for yeah. sure. We're so happy to be here and to be here with you and do your videos. We love watching you and what you do. Man, I appreciate your time so yeah. much. Thanks so much, guys. Thanks Thank so you. much. So there you go from the Nichols Paint and Fab open house, a 1937 Pontiac Silver Street four door street ride. We all enjoyed it. See ya. Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.